how do you save files from Dropbox on your iPhone? Now, well, it depends on what you exactly you want to do. Like in case you want to save photos, then it's a completely different thing than saving the files. But obviously you want to save the photos. So with the way that it works is that, that you need to have some sort of access to Dropbox on your phone, which I keep saying this, but the Dropbox app is literally the best way to go about it, in my opinion. So I would recommend you to get that. Make sure to get inside, sign in with your account, and then you can go to the, your, your files in here and locate the photos that you want to download and save to your device. And now it's pretty simple, right? Because you can uh, locate any photo that you want, tap on the three dots and click on a save image, which is going to make the image show up in your iPhone's gallery. So that would be the first step. However, you might as well just hold down on the image. And I believe that you should be able to like select them. So you actually use the select button at the top and just select as many photos as you wish. And now you can click on more and save images. So obviously you don't have to do it one by one and you can also bulk download and bulk save photos from Dropbox to your iPhone. So this is pretty simple. However, there are other ways to access the Dropbox. In case you, for example, you want to like go to the uh, save the photos directly to the files app and you want to skip over the photos altogether, you, what you can do is to make sure you still have the Dropbox app installed, but click on the files and then uh, just um, in here, come back to the locations and you should be able to find your Dropbox in here. So as you can see, the very same interface, the same files and everything. And you can now as well just hold down on the image and let's say you move it or copy it somewhere and you place it on your iPhone. So we're not saving this to the uh, Photos app on your device, but essentially we're moving it over in between the files on your device, right? So that's how it works. This is the second approach. So let me know what, what exactly you wanna use it with or what exactly you wanna achieve down below in the comments. Also hit the thumbs up so you don't miss videos like these alongside with subscribing to this channel and I'll see you in the next video.